So in this video I'm going to show you how to um, cut these three shrubs here, these three shrub bushes. Um, the first thing I want to say is that all these tips I'm going to give you are just things that work for me. They're not by the book, you know, they're um, just things that I've picked up over the years and been told you know, by my dad. You know, he's a gardener so he taught, showed me the way he always does it and it always works for me. So um, yeah, obviously if you read it from a book and it's different, you know, just, just do whatever the way it pleases you. Um, I'm using my steel combi hedge cutter. It's, um, it comes apart in the middle, you can add different things onto it. Um, I like to use it because it's, it's versatile, you know, I can cut big tall hedges with it, big wide hedges with it, and even small bushes. Um, one problem it does have is that you struggle to get inside and about um, sort of small shrubs, you know, you sometimes could do with a, with a smaller smaller handled hedge cutter, but um, this one works fine for me. So these bushes you can see, I've not, this isn't the first time I've ever cut them into this shape, so if you are um, wanting to get into sort of a square shape like this, you um, first thing you're going to need is a bit of patience. It's not going to be something that you know you can go into a hedge straight away and just start cutting to the shape. You might have to um, build them out a little bit. And just um, obviously the only way to do that is to wait for them to grow out a bit. Um, I think the first time I ever cut these, they were just circles. Um, so the lady I worked for just asked for something different, so I decided to put a few edges on them. Um, the way I do them is start at the top. Always start at the top. Um, Put a bit of a flat edge on the top of them and work my way down. And the reason I do the top first is so that any uh, rubbish I make on the top um, eventually, by the time I've got to the bottom of it, sort of falls through um, with all the vibrations on the bush. Um, if you start from the bottom and work your way up, I find that the, uh, the rubbish will sort of sit on top of the, the bush after you finish cutting it. So as you can see when I'm cutting these hedges, I'm not cutting very hard into them. I'm just basically passing the hedge cutter over them very softly, just letting the hedge cutter do the work and taking off the fuzzy bits that have um, they've grown on. So this, I'll probably cut this uh, probably last five months ago, saying five months ago. So obviously through the winter it hasn't grown much, but um, yeah, it's just one of those that you just need to get in and just keep tidy. It's important as well to keep the backs of them looking tidy. Obviously you can't see the backs of them from the, um, from the front of the garden here but it does help the growth all the way around if you keep the bushes looking nice and tidy. You don't really want the bush concentrating on the back. You don't really want it growing out of the back if you keep it all nice and tidy that tends to um, fill up nicely all, all the way around. Um, you can see I'll grab my steps here because I always find it's easier to cut these they're not massive, but when you get to uh, the top of them, you could e you could easily sort of stand on the floor and lift your hedge cutter above your head. But it's so much easier on your shoulders if you've got a small pair of, pair of steps and you can just put them up and just just hop up there. And uh, yeah, don't don't always have to um, overdo yourself. I mean, these these hedge cutters fairly heavy, but it's um, being nice and long like this, you can sort of spread the weight a little bit. But you don't you don't need to go to the gym after a day like today because your arms are just uh, constantly constantly at it. Um, but you see, I've got my safety gear on. I've all I very often get it in the face by any sort of little bits and pieces like this when you're when you're cutting the hedges. I don't think when I cut this hedge, I don't think I've got a, even the slightest leaf bump me in the face. But you know, it's just not worth taking the risk. You know, I've got the safety gear in the van. I might as well stick it on because. You know, the time I don't put it on is you know when I wear uh, or something daft like that. So um, so yeah, it's just keep going, keep taking bits and pieces off, keep standing back and having a look, making sure that your main view looks, um, they all look nice and uniform. Just say so keep going back to look from the actual viewpoint that the customers would have. Um, the customers they've got a patio just behind where I'm stood now, and. Um, yeah, as long as it looks nice from there, which is where they spend most of their sort of time looking at these bushes, um, I've done my job right. So that's the basics, you know, um, not too much off at a time. Start from the top, work your way down. 
And I think one of the main things is when you think you've got it, just leave it. You know, don't keep fiddling about with it, and because that's when you'll start to dig into it too deep. And unfortunately, you can't stick this stuff back on. You know, if you do go too deep on it, um, it's not too bad if it's your own property because you can just kick yourself for it. If you're doing this as a job and you go in and take a lot of out of it, you've, um, you've got to wait for it to sort of all grow back again. So when you think you've done with it, just say, right, that's enough today, just leave it. And I hope you like these sort of videos, I'll try and um, do a few more like this if you like them. Um, let me know, thanks very much guys, take care.